So today I'm talking about a P2135 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2135 code? Well, it's a throttle pedal position sensor, switch A, B, voltage correlation. And so what does this mean? Well, fuel injected engines are gonna have what's called a throttle body. And basically all the air going into the engine is going through the throttle body. And there's a butterfly plate that opens or closes depending on what's going on with the engine. When the engine's idling, it's gonna be closed, but then as you step on the gas, this is gonna slowly start to open up more and more. And this is gonna allow air to go into the engine and into the cylinders. But the computer needs to know how much air is going into the engine so that it could adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And so to do this, it uses what's called a throttle position sensor. And basically all this throttle position sensor is doing is reporting back to the computer how open this plate is. And that way the computer knows how much air is going into the engine. When throttle bodies were first introduced, there was a cable coming from the gas pedal. So as you step on the gas, this cable would open up that throttle body plate and that throttle position sensor would be reporting how open it is to the computer. But on many newer vehicles, they got rid of that cable. Now they got a sensor down on the pedal. So when you go to step on the gas, this is reporting to the computer how much you're pushing on the pedal. And then there's a little motor up on the throttle body that opens up that butterfly plate. And so there can be some differences on what's going on, depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this. But basically, when you get a P2135 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors. And so it's going to be troubleshooting to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2135 code? Well, the first thing is that throttle position sensor might have just failed. It might have just gone bad. It just needed to be replaced. You can't test it if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on that. One thing to keep in mind with these sensors is that if any of them are replaced, you might have what's called a relearn procedure, where the computer has to relearn that particular sensor, since there can't be some slight differences in the tolerances of the sensor and things like this. And usually what this means is just driving the vehicle around and the computer will automatically relearn. But there can't be specific relearn procedures dependent on the vehicle. And it might be something along the lines like you start the vehicle for 30 seconds, you shut it off, you start the vehicle back up, you drive it at 40 miles per hour for three minutes, you turn it off. Certain steps the computer uses to relearn the throttle position sensor. And again, there can be some differences. So you might have to do a little research on your particular vehicle. But just keep in mind, sometimes there is a relearn procedure. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad throttle position sensor. So the next thing that could cause this is something's wrong inside the wiring. Like that wiring harness isn't plugged in good, or there's an open or short, or something along these lines. Sometimes these wires don't make a good contact inside of there where the harness is at. Different things like this, but the next thing that could cause this is something's wrong inside the wiring going to the throttle position sensor. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the throttle body itself, that there's something going on with this butterfly plate or something like that. A very common problem with these throttle bodies is that they just get dirty and they just need to be cleaned up. Especially if you look down in there, you can see a lot of buildup on it and different things like this. If it does look dirty, it can't be a good idea to clean it up. And basically to do this, you get what's called throttle body air intake cleaner. And you just spray down in there and maybe use like a little small toothbrush or something like that. And you just clean it up real good and wipe it out with a rag. And quite commonly that solves a lot of problems. And one thing to mention is that if you do clean it up with throttle body cleaner, when you first start up the engine, it might run bad for like a minute or so until all that throttle body cleaner gets burnt away. But then after that, it should run better. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's something wrong with the throttle body. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad accelerator position sensor. And this is going to be located down on the pedal. It's going to be located up underneath the dashboard. Not all vehicles are going to have this. Like I said earlier, some vehicles still use a cable that goes to the throttle body that opens up that butterfly plate. But if your vehicle does have an accelerator position sensor down on the gas pedal, then this can also cause this problem. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad accelerator position sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2135 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. This video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.